Hi, my name's Daryl and I work in digital advertising. And I'm Chris and I work in digital design. And this is our apartment. First of all, we started with the building concept, as it's quite unique. The name is the Wardian, which derives from small cases that the Victorians used to use to transport plants around, which kind of bodes well with the concept of kind of the raw iron cabinets and things like that, which kind of emulate that look and feel. We wanted to take the kind of green as a base color because you can see it in the cabinets. And then what we wanted to do is just find complementary colors like the pink, a slight off white, a slightly more kind of pastel pink as well. And oh, it's heavy, another kind of green, but a little bit more muted uh, than this green that worked quite well with the pinks. And then what we wanted to do is use a complementary wallpaper to add a little bit of texture. So we have something which we feel is um, not too masculine, not too feminine, more kind of neutral to appeal to any potential renter that we would get to really kind of make them feel like their home is their home um, and not just the rented apartment. And I cannot tell you that Tash was amazing. She really understood what we was trying to achieve. She really understood what the apartment was about and really how to zone everything as well. So from a consultation and kind of going back and forth and really having a, a really personable conversation with her, we were able to kind of narrow down what colors we wanted and how the space was going to be used. One of the main reasons that we chose this apartment was the fact that you've got an amazing terrace for such a small space, which equally comes with amazing city-wide views. So prepping the space is really important. First thing is we want to make sure not to get any paint on the floors, on the furniture, and also anywhere where we don't want paint to go. So masking all of the skirtings, masking the ceiling and any of the cabinetry was really important before we could just get started. So this is Green 09 and this is going to go on this wall and this wall and this side wall. Um, it provides a really good complement to the fern wallpaper which we're going to apply, which is going to go on this wall, which will sit behind the bed. What we're going to do is we've got this pinko one, which is going to go on this wall here, and it's going to provide the kind of light canvas colour, which is going to make the room feel not so uh, neutral and new build. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take this pinko four colour, which complements it, and we're gonna paint the entire skirting kind of door frame in the pinko four, which is gonna follow the entire frame of the door. Um, and that's gonna work really nicely against the pinko one here, and then just the natural white colour of the door. I think just seeing the colour go on the walls is just really exciting to just see how it starts working in the room and how it transforms the room. It, it honestly just goes to a different vibe and a different mood. We first of all had a slightly darker green which we were going to use but one of the things we decided was that being such a small space it made sense to just lighten it a little bit so that we retain that kind of airy feeling and it didn't feel like it would close it off. In a slightly larger space it would have been perfect because we love the colour but in this smaller space it just didn't feel right. One of the real pleasant surprises was just like the quality of the paint. It's really thick, there's no smell, it only takes one coat and it goes on like a dream. It really just makes painting quite fun and the wallpaper as well was incredibly thick and just really tactile so as kind of first piece went on we were just really happy with it. So this is the wallpaper that we chose for the room. Uh, it's called Fern 01 and we loved it because it's hand painted using watercolours. Um, it's slightly cream um, with the green kind of fern colours. Um, I think it will complement the colours that we've chosen really well um, and as you can see it started to hang great as well. My favourite area has to be the bedroom area. Um, I think it just feels really fresh, airy, inviting. Um, the green tones of the wallpaper work really well with the similar type of tone we have in the pastel green paint on the walls. And I think for us to cherry on the top is the furniture. 
all from made.com just work so well in the space and with the color. The quality of materials, the sturdiness of the furniture, and just picking the right furniture was really important for size of the space. So we're thrilled, we're over the moon. We are honestly so happy with the way everything has come together. The way that the colors just work in the room from morning to sort of mid-afternoon to night just really works fantastically well. So we're over the moon with the way it's come together.